Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a whistle out of a tree branch. I'm going to be using an alder branch for this video, but you can use any wood that has strong bark that can be easily removed. The first step is to find a relatively straight piece of wood. You want the branch to be one or two years old, and you do want it to still be alive because the bark will be a lot easier to remove, and that's important. You'll see why here soon. You need about six inches. You can do less, but six inches is a good length. You don't need the entire branch. You can just cut off the end unless you have use for the entire thing. But only about six inches needs to be straight. So I've got my piece of wood right here. This one's about five inches long. This is another one. It's about six inches. Size doesn't really matter. It's just what you feel comfortable holding. So to start it, we're going to make a small stop cut just like this just about that size. I'm going to be using this piece. So to do a stop cut, you take your knife, put it in about two inches off the top, and push hard down. Make sure you get through that outer layer of bark. And then just push the knife up to the stop. And that is what it'll look like when you're done. And that's all you have to do for that. When you're done with that, switch it around to the back and just do a small cut directly on the back of that cut. And that's just going to be a for your mouthpiece. Alright, next, you can take your knife and you're just going to gouge it in a circle around the stick. Again, make sure you push the knife hard enough that it breaks through that outer layer of bark and the wood. And then connect the two sides to go full circle. Just going to press it around one more time to make sure I've gotten all the way through the bark. Alright, when you're done with that, you can lay it flat, and you're going to want to lightly tap at the bark. Be sure not to hit it too hard or damage the bark anyway, because that can disrupt the airflow when you pull the bark off. If you want to be sure that your piece doesn't break, you can do this for up to 10 minutes and then it should just slide right off the wood. I think that's enough for mine, so I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to twist. When you hear that pop, you know that it's disconnected, and you can slide it right off. And again, be careful with this. You don't want any of the bark to break. So now you've got a little hollow circle. Put this off to the side. You're going to need it later, so make sure it doesn't get damaged. So now you have this. You can see your little cut right there. Take your knife and just take that cut all the way to the end. And flatten out that space right there. make it a little bit deeper but not too much just about that from the top when you're done with that 
look for where you're where you started that stop cut and do another stop cut and you're gonna keep carving into that and you can carve that down to about the middle and you're going to want the end to be about right where you pulled the bark off just that end piece right there Eventually you'll start to get these things. You don't want to rip them off because that can disrupt this entire piece right here. Instead, just keep doing that drop cut and that'll pop them off. As you can see, this kind of got diagonal right there. Keep pushing on that to make sure it's straight down. Clean cuts are key here. We want very clean cuts. Right here, this is going to be the resonance chamber, and this will be where the air passes through. So, the longer and the deeper this is, the more wind can whistle around in there. I've made it pretty deep. I've gone about almost halfway, and that should be good enough. Flatten this out a bit more on the top. And when you've gotten this far, you can take your piece of bark, find where you did that original stop cut, and just slide it over the top. push it into place. Now you have your whistle. Just like that. You blow in the end. A couple of reasons if it's not working for you. This hole might be too big. And that can be a big problem. Also, if this is broken right here, the wind can be sent through cracks in the wood. That can be another reason your whistle isn't working. Um, this is what the outside looks like. And again, this is what the inside looks like. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see some more of my woodworking videos, I'll leave a link to some of those in the description down below. As always, like and subscribe if you want to see some more content like this, and I'll see you next time.